what's up guys uh it's oscar and Roberto here with xp call today uh we're thrilled to announce that today our guest is tito machado tito machado is the ceo of Rupert. so tito i'll let you introduce yourself Awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, Oscar, I'm Tito. I'm uh, I'm the CEO of Duper. Um, uh, I just recently kind of jumped into this position, and and yeah, super excited to be here. Uh, super excited to share a lot of information with you guys, and and hopefully, uh, you know, be a little more transparent of this black box of this Duper. Uh, we wanna we want the world to understand what we're doing, and and uh, this is a perfect outlet to to start sharing some information. Perfect, perfect. So I guess to start with that, um, since you want to make Duper more public and uh, uh, more people to know about the existence of existence of Duper. So I guess tell us, like, what's Duper? Well, Duper is a dynamic universal pickable rating. Uh, we've been around uh, two years. Um, we uh, things have changed quite a bit. You know, I think one of the one of the big things that happened lately is that. You know, Duper was the brother, sister, or nerdy brother, or nerdy sibling of, of Major League Pickable. And now we're on our own. Now we're a full data analytics company uh, running independently. And this is really, really exciting for us because, you know, as you know, there's been a lot of, you know, um, you know, politics and, and different scenarios in the sport. It's an extremely political sport at this stage. Mm. So um you know now we can kind of like run free uh, and and really help the sport you know uh, one, one of the big things that uh people um you know uh people i think it's important that they understand is that we're we're here to give a service to the pickable community around the rating right we are a platform we're a community uh, obviously the core of everything that we do here at Duper is this this algorithm this rating that you know puts everyone on the same scale from 2 to 8 regardless of their gender of their of their of their age and where they are on the world and mm. maybe we can discuss a little bit the the gender the, the mixed doubles the age um, um you know a uh, concept because that's something that is controversial right i know there there is some people who believe you know that uh, maybe it should be divided but at the end of the day we believe that you know level is level uh, it's an evolving it's an evolving product and and what we're trying to do is to really be able to com to connect the community uh, around this number and make sure that everyone gets level based play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess like one of the things that I caught that you mentioned in the beginning is that there is no uh, legal like connection now between Duper and uh, Major League Pickable. Is that right? Correct. So with with the merger that happened in a in a Couple a couple of weeks ago, we spun out of a uh, major league pickable, and and as I said, right now we can kind of run independent. We can uh, really focus on on the tools that we want to build, and and be Switzerland. Uh, again, the the goal here is to uh, mm. democratize this rating, make sure that we're working with everyone, and you know I think later we'll talk a little bit about hopefully about all of these you know API, all of these partnerships that we have globally. Uh, with federations, with associations around the the world, and and you know, again, we're apolitical now. We're not part of any any tour. We wanna we wanna help everyone. No, yeah, definitely. There there has been some uh, political stuff definitely going on the last couple couple of weeks, months in the pickle industry. Um, one of the I guess I went to nationals right a uh, couple couple weeks ago when I I actually met you. And um, I noticed there was some complaints. I noticed there were some people complaining about sandbagging. Uh, I believe Duper was not just uh, uh, at that specific tournament. So I guess uh, can you can you I guess like get into a little bit more of that, or I'll let Roberto speak uh, on that uh, actually. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Roberto. Sorry. Yeah. No. Uh, I guess you know being a, a longtime player and truly passionate about the sport. I think one thing is um, obviously gauging um, the integrity of the game. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, basically given the challenges, um, you know, of that, how do you interpret that's been, you know, impacting the sport when, um, you know, there's players that are, you know, four or five, four, you know, four or five plus playing in a three, five tournament. How, you know, how does that uh, impact the integrity of the game? Yeah, no. Listen, first and foremost, um, 
I think this is a complex issue, right? And I think in, we're in a super, um, um, you know, um, super exciting industry uh, where everyone is everyone is very opinionated and very hard on their ideas and everyone thinks they have the solution right away. And I think, you know, first of all, we want to say, you know, uh, celebrate the fantastic job that that USA Pickable, PPA put together to, to be able to run such a big event, right? The running these events is not easy and it's a young sport. So having all of the uh, all of the answers to the questions at this stage in the sport is going to be very complex. Things have to evolve. Things have to get better. And one of those things is, you know, getting this learning experience, right? And what other sport has had this kind of volume uh, of growth in such a short time? And how do you control that? And how you make sure you're making everyone happy? <laughs> Complicated. So. Mm -hmm. um, when when it comes to the sandbagging, right, this is something that has been happening in the sport uh, for a long time. Uh, it hasn't been there hasn't been a, an accurate rating that that is able to measure everyone uh, on a on a fair scale, and and um, and you know the the most important thing is having a something that that is dynamic that is uh, that evolves over time right like there is not there is when it comes to the nationals for example it's not like the players are wanting to sandbag it's like the you know some of the aspects of the old algorithm or there's not sorry not mm -hmm. all but the rating that is used is at the static and it's, it doesn't update in time so a lot of people mm -hmm. actually were rated at a certain level a while back right so when they're one year later when they're mm -hmm. coming to this tournament you know, they were rated at 35 maybe a year ago. Uh, it's just like it, that hasn't moved. The needle hasn't moved. So now they're coming to this tournament, of course, wanting to compete and wanting to have fun. They're not trying to cheat anyone. Um, but that's where uh, we believe that, you know, a, a system like Duper will will make life way easier, right? Now we have something that is updating uh, uh, directly through the app. It's the is, um, is, is, you know we're in, we're trying to get as many results as possible to make sure that we have an accurate representation of a player and we can show who you are Roberto today as a pickable player not a year ago not six months ago but today so we can bracket you on the right place so as I said a complex complex issue a lot of players I know people get very excited about this and that's why we truly believe that you know, um, the use of duper for for this kind of events in the future, it's it's critical. It's critical to make sure that you know mm -hmm. uh, players have a, a a fair fair and fun experience, but also um, but also um, make sure that there is a fair three five national winner or a three five you know a, a, and a four oh national winner and not uh, not players playing in the wrong brackets. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I so, guess like for for uh, for the for the ones that are not as as familiar, right, with the rating systems. So, what do you guys do differently than the all or or the rating rating system that uh, the PPA use in nationals? Yeah. So, uh, uh, one one of the biggest things is that first of all, you know, Duper is as I said, genderless and and ageless, right? Everyone is on the same scale. Um. Uh, uh, and the other, the other, the other big thing is that you know we we've had some we have some alterations of the rating in the last in the last couple of months, right? We we've, we've gone from we went from a, a counting every single point kind of system, a modified ELO uh, concept, um, where yeah, where every point counted, right? And we were we were measuring players, um, we were measuring players, uh, by uh, you know by the project by the prediction of what we thought the the point spread was gonna be within a match, right? Mm -hmm. uh, last summer, uh, we realized that you know they ha that we had a little bit of a lack of transparency uh, within the rating, right? People sometimes even comprehend why even winning the rating will go down, right? And mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll go a little more into that in a second, but. Right, how the old algo used to used to work. It was right. Uh, let's say that me and Roberto uh, go out and play. Uh, the algorithm makes a prediction. It says that Roberto is supposed to beat me 11 8, 11 8. Um, but Roberto actually beats me, uh, you know, um, 12 10, 12 10. So Roberto underperformed, even though he won, he underperformed. I overperformed. So even though I lost, my rating is going to go up. And Roberto's rate mm. is going to go down. 
Uh, mm -hmm. So that was the logic. It wasn't about winning or losing. It was about, you know, uh, where, where what was the score of the match? And then we'll make, uh, we'll, we'll make, no, that's how we'll judge the rating moving forward. Uh, because of that transparency thing, right? We kind of hit reset. We wanted to go back into something a little more compli uh, less complicated. Uh, we wanted to go into a, what they decide, a, a classic EO system where it's using chess.com, right? Where uh, if you win, you go up. If you lose, you go down. And 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 we we kind of hit that reset. What we wanted to do with that is, again, we wanted to before going into a complex algorithm, we wanted to uh, make sure that uh, the the community understands what we were doing. So mm -hmm. and that wasn't the case. We you know we we need to do a better job. So now we are ready after the reset to start counting points again. And here in twenty twenty four. We are we are changing that. We are we're going back into 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 counting points, and we'll discuss a little more of the details as a company mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks. We're going to explain how, how that works, but there is going to be um, but the winning and losing also are going to have a, an impact and an important factor with some of this. We want to be fair, and we want, mm -hmm. and we are listening to the community to to show mm -hmm. that. But uh, Oscar, I think the biggest the biggest difference from all of that that I just uh, explained is. Is that you know we are we are fluid we are dynamic you know we are we change every time every time the new results are getting added, uh, you know that has that's having an impact on the rating. So again, um, there's we see a lot of players who start the sport playing the sport right now as four O's, and in a year they're playing five five because you know they have racket sport experience they're great athletes they're playing pickup all the time. So the dynamism is the key difference with any of the other rating out there. Awesome. Yeah, that answered my my question pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sorry. Sorry. I, I went a little deep. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. We like that. <laughs> yeah. And um, how do you all uh, get feedback? Where's your, um, how do you guys listen to the community? Um, and how do you guys take that into consideration as a team? Yeah, well, um, um, you know, it's the feedback in the community is uh, impeccable. It's 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 pretty funny because it's pretty loud, <laughs> right? It's uh, oh we yeah, are, we are. Uh, I always say we're we're a forum sport, we're a meme sport, right? Everyone is addicted to the memes, so um, so yeah, we we get what the community are. We're working with over two thousand clubs in all over the world right now, with organizers, with players. We have. Uh, a lot of pro players or even people in the community are part of Duper right now and mm -hmm. and are working with us and um and we need to do better at that as well to be mm -hmm. honest I think the feedback mm -hmm. and, and and making sure that people understand what's happening and what's Duper that's one of the main things that uh, me jumping on here as CEO now and the, the plan here for 2024 are our transparency we wanna mm -hmm. we wanna make sure that people understand what we're doing that we are not that we're humans mm -hmm. behind this community and this platform that mm -hmm. it's just not it's not just this black box there is a lot of hardworking people that really mm -hmm. care love pickable and and want this to be the best rating in the world and it's the best rating in the world mm -hmm. many how many employees are in Duper right now just curious yeah, we have 40 plus employees. Uh, we are growing a lot internationally. We're growing in China, we're growing in India, we're going, growing in Europe and um, uh, in Latam mm -hmm. as well. We're doing a lot with our friends here from La Cocina. We have Duper Nationals mm -hmm. going on. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, we are, uh, we are, we're growing extremely and, you know, we are really bringing mm -hmm. some top, top, top talent uh to work on our platform so uh you know i think people are going to be very excited to see what we produce here in the next couple of weeks month i think this is going to be game changer oh, that yeah, that's, that's awesome yeah excited to, excited to see all the yeah all the cool and slash new stuff that's uh, coming on um mm -hmm. one of the one of the newest things um uh, in for 2024 right is that you guys are adding new features correct um, one of the first ones that I, that I, that you sent me or your team sent me was you guys are adding, um, uh, open play, like an open play feature, correct? Mm. Right. So, um, you know, we, we want to, uh, there's some very exciting stuff we are doing. Um, we're doing a lot of integrations with other platforms to make sure that we get as many results as possible. I think that's one of the, the main complaints of the community, right? I want all of my results on Duper, right? I want everyone. And we're working through mm -hmm. the things. We want to make sure that we are integrated with every platform mm -hmm. in the game. 
uh, to make sure everyone gets credit for their matches, right? And of course, you know, mm. there's, uh, you know, so, some some complexity in certain situations and we're, we're getting through those hurdles and we're making sure that things go on. But but those those API uh, or those, those um, partnerships are going to be critical for us. Um, and also all of the partnerships that we're having with the federations, with the clubs, with everyone else sending us results. And yeah, we are launching Open Play, which is a very exciting new tool um, uh, to be to enable local play, right? We we are we are aware that you know ninety nine percent of the community is is not the tournament playing community. It's a play <laughs> park. Is uh, mm -hmm. yeah, my buddies who go to the to the local park and we play matches all uh, every single day. And and how how do we enable? And those matches to be counted how do we, how do we organize play in an efficient way you know who is coming today and, and make sure that everyone is getting a level based experience because as we know there is a little bit of a lack of real estate right now when it comes to pickable courts so if we're able to to you know use that real estate efficiently organizing play by level i think that will, mm. that will make the experience way way better for everyone yeah 100% Awesome. Do you do you want to touch on the other features, Roberto? Yeah. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, Roberto. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, my real name is Gilberto. So every time he's oh. calling you Roberto, oh. I'm Gilberto. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Awesome. Man. That's awesome. Oh wow. What country are you from? I'm from Spain. I'm originally from Spain. Ah. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Muy bien. Muy bien. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah, a couple, a couple of other other tools that are gonna come that are really exciting. Um, are honestly they are all really social tools. We're gonna have a friends feed, right? We are going to you're gonna be able to share your experience. You're gonna be able mm. to to comment, post on other people's matches within the within mm. the app. Uh, one of the ones that excites me a lot is the club rankings. We already launched this. This is uh, up and running. So every mm. single when I say clubs, right? Um, I don't want people to understand clubs as just like a physical club. It doesn't have to be that. A club for us is a community. It's like a Facebook group, mm -hmm. right? Or mm -hmm. uh, that you're mm -hmm. able to have on Duper. Uh, and everyone who's, who comes and wants to have their group organized, they're going to have access mm -hmm. to one of these clubs. And through there, you're going to have club rankings. You're going to be able to play the open plays, add matches, and really manage your whole, your whole community, you know, add messaging, uh, emails through that platform. Um, and and again, that's, that's exactly the route that we're going. We're going. We believe that Pickable is is, is community people, uh, you know, um, and we want to enable that, uh, keeping the rating as a core of everything that we do here at Duper. What about this new feature called uh, Duper Plus? Yeah, Duper Plus is Duper Plus is very exciting. And for those of you in the in the community or who've known about Duper for a long time. The, the Duper Plus concept has something in the past. Some people have heard it. Some uh, you know, it's just uh, this is for the for the true uh, for the true uh, you know players who are obsessed with the rating, with the analytics, with being able to check all of the stats. Uh, we are we're bundling up um a lot of very 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 cool tools that premium subscribers within Duper are gonna be able to have access to. Um and and to adding some of our amazing partnerships, right? We wanna we wanna make sure that everyone who is on the two per plus subscription uh, is able to to really kick out on our player analytics, on the pros, on on the part players that they wanna follow and have a little more of a um um high end experience using Duper. So this is gonna be rolling out um early on of 2024 with all of the other tools. Actually, we have. We have a lot of new, new things coming up exactly on uh, Q1 of, of 2024. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, we've been working very hard this last couple of months to release this, plus the all of the API agreements that we have with all of these different organizations that are going to hit the market here in the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be a whole different experience. So very excited. I think I think you mentioned awesome. uh, a couple of uh, APIs of of record here with me. Um, one of them was my Pickable journey and Lucra, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, um, as as mentioned before, now that we are in this um, uh, duper being Switzerland world, right? Um, 
we want to we, we want to make sure that we partner and, and and grow and help grow every organization that is coming into the sport um, and my pickable journey is very exciting this is a a coaching app that you know enables you to to get a a top top professionals in the sport to to you know guide you through your pickable journey make sure that you're going through the uh, duper ranks mm-hmm. uh, watching mm-hmm. on your videos and and uh, you know uh, giving you this excellent coaching experience and um this you know so we've already gone live with this partnership and uh, we have the duper challenge within the coaching app as well so uh again that's mm-hmm. that's being able to track uh, your your game and how that coaching is uh, affecting your duper. I think it's it's the future, and um, because a lot mm-hmm. of players don't just wanna. It's a little bit of a fear, right? Within um, adding scores and 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 you know, or like you know, making sure your duper stays stays. Uh, mm-hmm. No one is touching your duper now. With this with this partnerships, right? I think we want to take the fear out. The more data, the better. The more matches that we add, the more the algorithm is going to get more and more powerful. So, so, mm-hmm. so that's, that's very exciting. Sorry, uh, Oscar, which one was the other one you, you referenced? I missed it. I believe you mentioned off the record to me, a uh, Lucra. Oh, Lucra, Lucra. Oh yeah. Lucra, Lucra is another very exciting uh, partnership. Lucra is going to be a little even different. Lucra is going to be integrated within, within Duper. Um, and it's a, a peer-to-peer spread we're gonna you know you're gonna be able to go with your with your with your players and with your friends and uh, go to the park and you're gonna be able to you know to uh, mm. put the box on on who's gonna win the match and mm. and, and you know mm. it's gonna take the function of of, uh, mm. of get, get you know a virtual wallet where you're gonna be able to get to pay for those matches you're gonna see the odds so wow. so it's wow. it's I am. We're very excited about that one. I think you know there is a lot of people who are already playing for the courts, are playing for 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 the the, the meal afterwards, um, and <laughs> and now now we want to make sure that that experience is is on duper. You're recording the matches, and hey, you know what? Like, get it. Let's get a little. Let's get a little excitement on the match, right? Yeah, that's 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 fantastic. I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah, that that one is very exciting as well, and. Um, and that, as I said, that's all gonna live on the on the Duper app. We have what we call a SDK. I don't want to get super technical, but it's you know it's something that lives uh, inside of of mm. of of Duper. And the Lucra team is absolutely fantastic. They're doing mm. some great things. And and again, uh, engagement and community and playing with your with uh, mm. playing locally, counting global is something that we're looking at at mm. and really offering here in 2024. Yeah, that that's fantastic. Um, and I think in general, uh, with pickleball being the way it is, uh, I think it's a sport that people who watch pickleball generally are, are going to play pickleball. I think most people that watch it. So I think moving forward in this market, it's knowing that it's a people's game. It's the game of the people. People want to feel like they're included. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think that's really, um, really smart in you know, the business atmosphere that we are. And from a perspective, I feel that um, it's giving the people what they want. They want to feel included. And they also want to feel like they're progressing because I think that's what people, why people love pickleball. It's something they can get better at. Now adding some tech behind it is is, is great. So um, how do you feel like uh, Duper has, like what's an example of Duper um, impacting uh, a player's career that you, you know, you've seen? Yeah, I mean, at the at the pro level, honestly, so far we've been the, mm-hmm. the main, the main, a vehicle through the journey, right? I mean, uh, play, uh, MLP players get drafted by the duper when you know when 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 a new player is coming in, uh, that's the first number that starts popping into people's uh, people's radar, right? Uh, companies sponsor based on duper. I've heard this nonstop. Hey, my duper goes below a certain level. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna lose my wow. sponsorship. So, um. Uh, that's that's what's truly exciting. That's you know we've seen that a lot. The other the other big one, right? Calling Shake, for example, his first ever tournament that he won was a Duper College National Championship. You no know, one knew mm-hmm. who Colin was before that, and then two weeks later he was beating Ben Jones. Uh, so, yeah. um, so you know that's uh, did he beat Ben Jones or did he play in the finals against Ben? Yeah, Lyon? no, he he. He's uh he, he, yeah. he, he reached the final, but he, he lost to Ben Jones. Yeah, he lost yeah. to Ben Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, so th- that journey is what we're starting to see. Obviously, we're heavily involved with college. We're heavily involved with international pickleball. So, 
how cool is it that you know by being on this global scale and being the only sport that truly can do this successfully uh, to be on the global scale that a player uh you know a kid in india starting to play pickleball uh, uh you know keeps growing through the ladder and someday reaches uh, six duper and suddenly they're playing mlp right mm-hmm. uh, this is that's a dream right obviously mm-hmm. that's that's a one percent or the 0.1 percent right of the population but uh, but it's exciting that you know we have pros and we have amateurs all in the same scale. Uh, it's you know it makes the it makes it very democratic that everyone has a chance once you reach that duper uh, uh, to get to to get to compete at the highest level of pickleball. Yeah, and you know I know duper has been successfully implemented by MLP PPA. How have these leagues benefited from duper, and what lessons can be applied to the broader adoption of the pickleball community? Yeah, I mean, listen. Uh, we today we had MLP, right? Uh, and uh, we, you know, you, when you look at, you know, again, when you look at uh, the head to heads that we post every single every single day. I mean, um, you know, we we are we're very very damn close in terms of our accuracy of of the, even the point spread and and the score and who's gonna win every single one of those matches. So uh, you know, we we're reaching some some high levels of accuracy, uh, even though, you know, again, some, uh, I think th- this is something that is going to be seen more w- once we get this, th- this numbers in the community, because, you know, we need to get the community to start watching pro pickable to make sure that they realize, oh, wow, Duper is, Duper is actually very accurate when we're looking at this head to heads and we're looking at the spreads, right? I think that's a key to, to the next jump, uh, because, um, because it does make a difference, you know. Again, so so many of the of the MLP o- owners, um, you know, called us before 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 the drafting and asked us for, hey, give us a duper list, give us the the, the players who have raised the most, you know, give us, you know, mm-hmm. um, all of that information. It's it's super useful for them, and and again, the I I think duper when it comes to the tours and any other and any other organization out there is. And now that we're not part of the politics, I can understand before with the politics, but now that we're not part of that is, you know, mm-hmm. we can be the one thing, one thing that we all agree on, right? And that will just make the community so much, you know, um, so much easier for everyone. If everyone is in one place and 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 there is no division, right? I think there is enough division um, and this one universal uh, rating who, you know, has been built from the pick of a community to the pick of a community will be people who really care and love about this. Uh, it's beneficial for everyone, right? The second you start, we've seen this in every single sport. The second you start um, cannibalizing each other with four, five, six different ratings, you mm. know, you it, there is no real measure of players' level. Mm. Mm. Only one rating. Only one rating. Only one rating, baby. Yes. If you could say in one sentence, why Duper and not why Duper has to be the 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 single and the only one. In one sentence, yes, uh, because we're the best. Uh, <laughs> because we're the best. Now, listen. I think it's exactly what it's exactly what uh, what we're talking about before, right? We are we are we're building this for the community. This is this is for you know we're looking and thinking about this uh, with people who are obsessed about pickable who are play, you know that uh, and wanna and wanna offer a great experience. And you know we we have collected enough information enough results enough you know we've grown enough around the country around the world really uh we've we've made such a big splash and such a big impact in such a short time uh, and i think and i think you know if we get uh, everyone to really trust us and here in 2024 i think um you know we're going to deliver on 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 being the best rating in the world i love it yeah. but um i guess to wrap it up here uh, with you tito you you mentioned a couple a couple of times uh, that Duper it's 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 a global company, right? So what are you guys doing overseas? I, I know, for example, that you guys are doing uh, the Duper Nationals with La Cocina. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about that and also tell us what else are you are you guys doing outside of the U.S. Yeah, so um, you know, we we partner with La Cocina uh, to start offering organized play uh, in other countries, right? Some other countries, pickleball is really at its infancy, right? And and there is no set structure. So, 
Uh, again, we, we were offering our services to everyone out there in the world that wants to get organized play in their community. And uh, with La Cocina, you know, the, a lot of these countries don't have their national championship. Like, you know, nationals is so big here, right? So we decided to go organize nationals in the countries, make sure that the people have a great experience, start using Duper from the beginning and, 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 and you know, helping them organize and structure the sport in a healthy way so it can keep growing in the future. Uh, we have this national Swiss La Cocina all over all over Spanish speaking countries, Latam, and we have one in Spain as well. Um, and then and then in in the rest of the world, you know, we have partnerships with the Asian Pickable Association. We have uh, we have um, we have you know we are in 143 countries right now, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, and we we have a, a tour, a duper tour in China that is exploding with you know 400 500 players. We were actually in every news outlet in china last week everywhere like we were in every main news outlet which is crazy we were in the asian pickable games in taiwan we were gonna be in india here early on we were in the english open so yeah we 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 are we're conquering the world <laughs> around the world baby i love it <laughs> but uh but yeah man thank you so much tito excited to see uh what's in 2024, it, it sounded like you guys were bringing a lot um, due to all these new changes in the organization. So excited to see the growth of Drupal. And like like again, uh, I have no words to describe uh, how thankful uh, myself and where we are uh, for, for doing this with us. So, No, thank you guys. An absolute pleasure. Uh, keep out the good work. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm loving you guys' content and you guys are going to keep growing. Uh, you have any you guys are great so super excited to follow your growth and yeah uh, always here to help guys let us know if 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 duper can can do anything we are we're excited we're excited for the community we're excited to to uh, grow pickable so thank you yeah thank you thank you people and you know no tea only duper, baby. <laughs> thank you thank you Oscar.